Alright, just FYI, Gina said no wine, Joe, so I was about to crack one. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Woo! I got you. Alright guys, so some of you know that I have a huge thing right now with cleaning out my orifices. What I mean by that, so yesterday Gina taught me into doing the nose thing, I shared that with you. Check it out, a long time ago I had a bug in my ear. I get dysphoria really bad, like where I'm always dizzy, I always have brain fog, I think it's to do with anxiety and stress, but I've had brain fog for like three or four years. So anyway, I had something crawl in my ear a long time ago and I was like, man, maybe it's still in there and I still have a problem, I'm not gonna lie, I stayed up on the, the WebMD thing last night. All right guys, so hey, this isn't the one I wanted, I saw this really neat one online, I said, hey babe, can you run up to CVS and get me this thing? And this is what she came back with, the Monoject. All right, supposedly what you do is you stick this in your ear, you blow the water up your ear, and then if there's a bug in there, it's gonna it's come out one of these holes into that bowl. All right, this one isn't scary because this isn't gonna choke me, right? Right. I have a short gag flu reflex, and my defense of why I was such a baby with the thing. Which, do you remember what year that bug crawled in? It in the I don't know. House. It was in, yeah. That? No, it was in the Rowlett house. Was it? Yeah. Oh, it was in Del Rock house before we sold Del it. Rock. All right, let's do it. Ready? Yep. All right, it says don't do it too hard. Now, I can't tell. Does that look like it's in my ear hole? Yeah, it looks in like Man, it's I got a big ear hole. I can't even tell. Ready? Uh huh. Oh, my gosh. Anything coming up? No, just water. Anything yet? Nope. Anything yet? No. No bugs? No bugs. What? You have no bugs in your ears. Uh, all that did was give me an air hole in my ear hole. Does that make any sense? No. Can you hear that? I can. Squeaky clean. Hey guys, I'm almost positive. So here's why, like I figure, look, I'm old. I always have ears or hair that grows out of my ear and every once in a while I have to oh, look like this, like this. Oh, I slipped, it was wet. Oh, I oh, can't see it. So anyway, I get hair in my ears. I didn't know if y'all know that happens when you get older. But so I figured like it was just the hair like releasing from wax or something. And that's what that feel is. But I'm, it's gotta be this ear. I think it is this ear. But so every once in a while I'll feel something. I'll be like, I oh, don't know, maybe it's just the hair in my ear. But then it feels like there's something in there. Anyway. Are you ready? Uh-huh. All, right. All right, you got it? Yep. All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go, you ready? Ready. Right, get close. Can you see the blue thing in my ear? Huh? Like here? All right, here. Right there? Right there. Starting. All right, ready to go. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, man. That was different. Oh, look, water's not, oh. There's something in there. Oh! We are back and we are Russian. We're Russian. <laughs> are you Russian? I'm not Russian. I've got to get on a plane, y'all are attempt to get on a plane with my kids and my wife and my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. And I really hope we get to go because we're gonna go to Virginia and then we're going to DC for a few days. It's gonna be fun. Uh, but anyway, look, check it out. Here's all the jewelry from the uh, $800 unit. We're gonna unbox it here with you now. Do this one, because this one might be impressive. I'll tell you why. Because look, you can see through it. Okay, and then look down in here. We have all this jewelry that we've still got to go through. Look at that clown. Hey, yeah, look at that clown. <laughs> all right, ready? One, two, three. Oh my gosh, all right. <laughs> okay, so when we found this, um, Wait, who found it? <laughs> oh. Just kidding. Okay, Tanner picked up the box. So I wish you know what's wild me. is like y'all never give me credit for like, man, how do you do it? How do you pick such amazing units? But they will give themselves credit so much for picking up a box and a unit I picked out and I bought. I think it's that big of a deal. Well, obviously I do, Tanner. Okay, obviously I'm not getting enough uh, praise myself. Okay? I think you do great. Thank I told you the other day. I think you, you do amazing. And I appreciate you.
And some guy left a thing, uh, a comment yesterday and said, uh, I'd hate to tell you, but costume jewelry is all worthless. That is so far from the truth. There's costume jewelry that goes for thousands. Mm -hmm. It's just gotta be the right maker, the right uh, materials, uh, things like that. So that is really pretty. I bet that, I bet you anything that brings in 30 or 40 bucks. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. It looks newer, but still really pretty. Uh, oh, look, political button? Nope. This is All Men Enlist for Christ. National Baptist Brotherhood Union. Maybe that's part of the hat? Yeah. I like it. Okay. I saw a stamp on it somewhere, I thought. I'm not sure what it said, but that's pretty. Alright. And I wish some of this was gold. These are actually really pretty. Look, 14 karat gold. Maybe two grams, maybe. Getting, you lose your bag, brooch. You lose your bag to the gold. All right, so check that out. That's pretty cool. We're gonna keep this out. Okay. This one, we weren't sure if there was something in it. Oh, maybe, maybe that's just the band, I don't know. Oh no! All right, Ooh. but here's the deal. Why would I not, Tanner, this is training for you. Why would I not be impressed too much about what might be in here? I'm going to give you a hint. It's the quality of the box. Uh, oh my I'm, gosh. Did you really just turn from the freaking non-turn lane? No. I was in I was in a lane. Were you recording? I was in a lane. <laughs> you Okay, Gina. I'm going to rewind that, folks, and if she's right, I'll I'll eat crow. Like I don't know what lane you just turned from. <laughs> it's <laughs> one turn lane per place. No turn lane. <laughs> it had a white a solid white if I didn't love these people so much, I would not hire people their age. In my experience, they want to argue over things that we have on tape. <laughs> Making me nervous. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that's pretty. Here's the thing. Oh, look, it's still got the thing on it. The missing stones. No, it's still got all the stones in there. That's a pretty watch, y'all. Yeah, to make it start ticking. All right? Let's see if it works. Ready? We're gonna see if it works. One, two, three. Oh, it's working. Right. We saw this. This says satchel. Sachet. Why didn't you correct me? Sachet. You're supposed to correct me. When you're filming, okay. you're supposed to correct dumb things I say. Uh, so we got a little satchel watch. You didn't correct me. Sachet. <laughs> like that was like four seconds and you didn't even remember. <laughs> so we got the uh, satchel bracelets and watch. Look, I still like still connected in ah oh, that's less impressive uh, if you want to know how much a satchel cost it costs you $14.99 thank you he's learning folks he's teachable is it silver what is that so it's gotta go is that got like a perfume topper or something oh i bet that goes to the knife doesn't it? That goes oh, to the bottom of the knife. Yeah, I saw it falling. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. First of all, let's see if this is gold. Because if we have two 14 karat gold necklaces, that would be great. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 14K. Wow. It's engraved with a date of 84. And this is 10 karat gold. It says U.S. 10 karat gold. But look. But we gotta figure out what this goes to, Tanner, right? Right. Because it could add a premium over a spot of gold, right? Because people will sell for collectible things, right? Mm -hmm. So this is collectible gold, I guess, is the way you could put it, possibly. So we just gotta figure out what that symbol is. This could have a lot more than just scrap value, but hey, check it out, three pieces of gold. All right, let's just finish the little bags, and then we'll go to the big box last. That's a pretty brooch, let's see what it is. The name for it. So, uh, spin, uh, spin spindle. Is it? No. Um, I don't know. Pour this out. Let's see. We got a watch. Oh, we had something right there. This is pretty. That's Geneva. Alright, so hey, that's still, it's still a pretty watch. I agree. Alright. Ready? Um, these are so, they're just kind of cool. They're wood. Wood. Oh, look. 
up the little perfumes. Carolina Verena. Oh, Fendi. Fendi's an expensive brand. All these little perfumes. Okay, now let's go to the top layer. Baby, be gold. I don't know. We'll look that up. It's kind of a, it's got a cool look. It's kind of a weird ring. Kind of cool. Let's see what else we got. That looks plated, obviously. That's plated. Great if one of these were gold. Check those in a second. Oop. Set size 17. I'm gonna go with not gold, but we'll check it in a second. A little crystal bear. Let's go. Those are earrings. That's kind of cool. A little danglies. I just totally forgot we were even filming for a minute. <laughs> Whoa, the camera is just like a boom boom. Is it? I might not even be able to use this. That's going to stink. Uh, you're using it. Just kidding. He said you're using this. <laughs> and I filmed kidding. it. Katie's driving a little crazy. A little. I'm sorry, I apologize to the watchers. I'm a good driver. Say, hey, don't be on here talking crap that you know is not true unless you want it exposed. <laughs> we call these that millennial, millennial editions. Y'all both been caught lying of factual things that were caught on tape. All right, guys, so that's the big deal. I'm still okay with that. We got this beautiful box. So, hey, anyway, that's the end of the $800 unit. And hopefully we're about to be getting on a plane or they're going to be setting up a great auction for you guys next week. All right, guys, welcome back. So we are here, me, Gina, Mom, Dad. <laughs> And the kids, they got up their way ahead. So we are here at Mount Vernon. We're about to go visit what? George Washington's home. George Washington's home and what else? Vineyard, the, right? The Potomac River. All right, so I don't know we what's all here. A vineyard, I don't know. Jason Vaughn, Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. Oh, Jason Vaughn just texted me. Uh, Life, after, Life After, YouTube, go check him out. I love that guy, really good heart. Just a good guy, love him. So go check out Life After. Other than that, hey guys, just wanted to pop in. This vlog is just going to be a big collage. Is that even a thing with videos? Um, Video collage? Sure. Maybe. It's just going to be a bunch of pieces of us going and checking out historical things. As soon as we leave here, we're heading to D.C. and we're going to go check out all the monuments, everything. Maybe we'll catch some wackos out there arguing over stupid stuff. It doesn't really <laughs> even matter at the end of the day. So anyway, we'll be right back. Hey guys, just wanted to pop in real quick and show you this. That is George Washington's house, I believe. So anyway, we are scheduled for a tour at 2.30. We're heading up there to the big group and we'll pop back in.
Thank you.